In this problem, we have a man that's walking towards a race car that has a speaker on it that's emitting a 640 hertz tone. We don't know the velocity that this car is going, but we know that the velocity of the man walking towards the car is 1.1 meters per second, and we know that the frequency that we observe is 512 hertz. We're asked to find what the velocity of this vehicle is and what direction it's going. So right off the bat, we did this is a Doppler shift formula, a Doppler shift problem, so we've got to use a Doppler shift formula. And the only thing we don't know in the formula is basically the velocity of the source. So uh, if we assume the velocity of the sound is 343 meters per second, let's write out our formula. So we have frequency observed equals uh, velocity minus observed velocity divided by minus the source velocity, all times the source frequency. Now, in this case, we're given the observed frequency, we're trying to find the source velocity. Now, one thing we should note, this velocity of the, of the observer is actually in the negative direction, okay? Because we always define for Doppler shift positive this way and put our observer on that side. So, this is actually negative, okay? So let's, uh, let's solve actually for this Vs. So initially I'm going to multiply V minus Vs over here and divide frequency onto this side. So I get V minus Vs equals V minus Vo divided by Fo times Fs. So now all I have to do is, um, what I'll do is I'll add our source, our source velocity over here and subtract all this junk over here. So I get V minus V minus V zero F S over F zero equals our source velocity. Because we've added source velocity over, subtracted this over. So all we've got to do now is plug in our unknown values. Our known values. We have our V, 343 meters per second minus V is 343 meters per second minus our observed velocity observer velocity is 1.1 meters per second so that's negative 1.1 meters per second in brackets all that in brackets okay and that's uh, multiplied by our source frequency of 640 Hertz Okay, and that's divided by our observed frequency of 512 hertz. Okay, so this becomes a plus because it's minus minus. So we get 340 plus 1.1, so it's going to be 344.1 times 640 divided by 512. And we notice that the hertz cancels, so it leaves us with meters per second, and that's going to be 343 meters per second minus 430.125 meters per second. So as you can see, our answer is going to turn out negative, and we get negative 87 after rounding meters per second for two significant digits. Now, so this means it's going in the negative direction, and that makes sense if you think about it. We have a guy walking towards this vehicle, uh, towards this loudspeaker. So since he's walking towards it, if this was stationary, our frequency would actually go up. We noticed that it was 640. We heard it at 512 hertz. So the frequency we heard it at went down, meaning that this car had to be moving away quicker than he was moving towards it. So we had a final answer of minus 87 meters per second.